you to ask me a lot of questions on my Instagram and on my snapchat and here are the questions so uh, let's go, go yeah. all right first question what gel from light elegance do you use to cover your color gels to give the nail strength and structure I use cool gel I use cool gel for everything as soon as I build I use cool gel What's your favorite kind of dog and how are you today? Well, let me tell you. This is my favorite kind of dog. You met him before. His name is Martin. And he's my favorite kind of dog. He's a Jack Russell and he is almost five years old. And yeah, I'm uh, feeling great today. Here it is, Martin. Good job. Good job. Good job. He's wagging his tail right now. You can't see it, but he's wagging it. Next question. How do you do ombre nails so flawlessly? What's the best way to do baby boomer nails? How do you ombre or fade with gel polish? How do you do your French ombre baby boomer nails with perfect white and soft pink builder? Okay, people. There are no stupid questions, but... If you guys been following me for a while, you know that I've been addressing this for I think, yeah, three years, two years, I don't know. And it's not that, you know, I don't want to tell you because it's a secret. I choose not to tell you how I do my baby boomer nails and my ombres because these are some of the techniques that I teach at my classes. So all the people that already paid a lot of money to come to my classes, I mean, it would kind of be like ripping them off if I would just go out and tell everyone how to do it like after they paid me. I mean, I I need to get my money from somewhere. I tell you a lot of stuff that most people probably wouldn't do. Like they wouldn't choose to tell you all of this, but I like to help people, but some techniques I prefer to keep to myself. I want to keep on doing my classes. I enjoy teaching. And if I would go around and tell everyone how I do this, I wouldn't have any students left. As I said, I've addressed this whole many times. And I really don't know what else to say. I still get these kind of comments or questions. I totally understand that you want to know. So, my best advice for you will be to come to my classes and I travel all around the world so hopefully I will come to a city you know close to your area and you can come visit me and I will be more than happy to show you about the baby boomers and the ombre nails let's move on okay another question that I got like a million of is when you first started as a nail tech how long did a full set take you to complete and do you have any little tips to become faster uh, how long does it take you to do full set or fill uh, this is like in um, Norwegian how long does it does a new set take for you to do how long does it take you to complete a full set so for that question please just uh, look at my previous video uh, how to become a super fast nail tech where I talk about time and speed and whatnot and basically telling you to relax moving on what inspired you to be a nail tech what made you want to become a full-time nail technician I think I talked about this in one of my videos where I tell you you know how to become a nail tech and I was uh, modeling for a for a nail student and uh, just basically fell head over heels for the industry and nails and everything I wasn't into nails at all really before that when I was like a teenager maybe I did some nail art and uh, no, on nail yeah nail art nail polish designs but I did I almost 
didn't even know that there was something called gel or acrylic. But when I when I got it, it was like, hell yeah. What would you do for your own wedding nails? I've been thinking about that. I'm not that into weddings. I will probably get married someday, but it's not like me and Christian are rushing into anything. Uh, but I will probably go with the nudes. Salon stiletto nudes. I think that is a really, you know, classic design. I like nude nails and it's classy. Do you always do your own original designs? Uh, no, absolutely not. But I try to make it as much as me as possible. So if my clients come with a picture or a couple of pictures with inspiration, I try to be inspired by those pictures and create something that is me. What's the furthest a client has traveled to have their nails done by you? Uh, I don't know. When I, when I go to the States now, I have a couple of um, long travelers coming to see me. So that's pretty cool. Well, if you, if you can count <laughs> uh, Kesha coming from the States. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't really like she came for me, but... <laughs> Anyway, you can pretend. How do you come up with your designs? And also, how do you know when you mix a match on both hands that would look good? I usually, when I do a more of an advanced design, I have a sketchbook. So I really, you know, roughly draw out my designs. So I know kind of how it will look in the end. But that is also something that you kind of need to practice on, you know, having the ability to see the design inside your head, like in your mind, before you put it on a client. I mean, it's all about practice. After a while, you just kind of know. Uh, okay, this is in Swedish. What color do you use when you're painting your designs? I think she's meaning, she means like, when I do like, nail art stuff painting and I use acrylic paint and it's called, uh, the ones I'm using uh, are called uh, polycolors. Could you please show some pictures of your workstation and how you organize things and etc. Absolutely, I, I've been planning to do a video on that. Uh, thing is that you will probably not see it until later, like after summer uh, because I'm still waiting for my vent to be installed in my table so right now it looks really 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 messy around my table and it's not supposed to look like that so as soon as i can get the old vent the old vent out of the way i will have a lot more space to put in some kind of shelf or uh, cabinet or whatever uh, to put my stuff in as soon as that's done i will show you I will also uh, give you like a salon tour as soon as uh, I get my table fixed. Oh, thanks, good. If you were not an artist, what would you like to do or study? I would probably work with some kind of management or marketing because that's what I love to do. So yeah, something with that. And I also really wish that I could work as a vet or something with dogs or animals but I love dogs way too much so I'm probably the worst person in the world to work with dogs because I would cry all day long what do you do to keep your body and hands from hurting with doing as much work as you do <laughs> nah. I don't know if I'm the right person to ask this since I recently got something called Tietze's syndrome or costochondritis. It's uh, like all the muscles around the rib cage are basically inflamed. So I have trouble breathing, I have trouble sitting down, trouble working, lying down. It basically feels like someone is strangling you like 24-7. And I can lift heavy stuff. I 
can't work long hours. I got it after uh, the NTNA uh, competition because I worked so hard. So right now I am seeing my physiotherapist as much as I can, at least like once a week. I try at least. I do a lot of like exercises, but it, oh, I suck at doing rehab things. I really do. Sorry, I'm not the best person to ask. Okay, here's a, here's a Swedish question. And uh, I'm gonna take it in uh, Swedish. Because why not? I hope that it's okay with Svensk Fråga. What is the best with your job? What is the best? How long does it take to build and what should you choose at the university to be a technology? You got that? Good. The best thing with my job is that I get to be like super creative every day. I have awesome clients, we have a lot of fun and also being self-employed is something that I will probably keep on doing until I quit working because I like being self-employed, I like being in charge over my schedule I don't like anyone else to own me in a way so I really like the self-employed thing and to be able to be super creative and in charge of your own life, basically. Uh, worst thing is it's really hard to get a nice paycheck every month. All you nail techs know what I'm talking about. You need to work so hard for every single penny you make. There's a lot. <coughs> There's a lot of jealousy going on in the industry, of course, and uh, haters and whatever. You really need to toughen up if you choose to be a nail tech on social media people will always have bad things to say about you even if you just do your job so yeah how long does it take to get a get licensed and what should you choose in high school to get a nail tech to become a nail tech you know what i i am um, as i said earlier i already did a video on this subject so I will um, I will put the link down in the description box below and go and uh, check it out when it comes to uh, becoming a nail tech in high school I think they're in Sweden at least I don't know every other country but in Sweden uh, there are like some stylist programs that you can uh, you can take and uh, then you will actually be a nail tech when you are um, graduating so that's pretty cool By using the sandwich technique, do you find most of the gel off when you need to change the color or design? Okay, sandwich technique is something that I call my um, technique when I I do color, then build file, and then put color on top. So it's like color, color, and then gel in the middle. You can't. People asking me about this like all the time. You can't do this technique with gel polish because you can't put gel polish underneath a hard gel. I don't really see the point of doing this with acrylic because if I had acrylic I would do a full nail in that color. So if you are working with acrylics and gel polish, no you can't put gel polish underneath and then acrylics and then gel polish. It just doesn't work. And yes, I filed maybe like 90-95% off every time it's not a problem for me however if the client has like um extension i don't remove the extension so i only file down to the extension and then it's built over it again so i don't redo any extensions how do you charge clients huh money i don't really get that question cash or card i don't know cash card i charge them Okay, uh, I got a couple of <laughs> I got a couple of questions about this. Non nail related. What brand name are your glasses? Love them. <laughs> uh, thank you. Sorry to say, but I don't really remember. Uh, it's from Ren. 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 R e h n. And I bought them online. Nah. They are, however, a little bit too big for me, so sometimes my ear hurts. Uh, but, I mean, I like them, so 
I'm gonna keep it. Do you have any tips for creating a good nail art blog? Uh, no, because I fail every time. Uh, but yeah, it's all about consistency. I mean, you need to post at least once a day, preferably more. But you need to be consistent and post a lot. And I don't have time to do that, so my choices right now are Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube, like my main platforms, and Facebook, of course, but I tried keeping my blog up, but honestly, I feel like blogs are kind of like 2012. <laughs> no, but really, um, I think that YouTube is a new blog. Okay, here's uh, a lot of questions in one. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. I love your videos. How's the culture difference and similar between the US and Sweden? And that really depends on what you're referring to. You mean like clients or nail techs? When it comes to nail techs, uh, Sweden is a lot more focused on getting the basics really perfect before moving into nail art. And in US, I think that people are more into nail art and then maybe start working on the basics. And when it comes to clients, what I've been noticing is that, you know, I mean, Sweden, we don't have a lot of people here, <laughs> if you compare it to the US. So, I mean, obviously you're gonna have a lot more people that are very much more conservative in the States than in Sweden. And I actually thought that Swedish people were super conservative, but it turned out that we're kind of crazy ass people over here, I don't know. We have a lot of conservative people as well, but mostly like if I post coffee nails or, or salon stilettos or whatever, I get a lot more US people telling me that it looks ugly and that it's um... Gross! Ew! When, the funny thing is that when you take a look at those people's like profiles, if you can see like on Facebook, it's uh, mostly like older women, like in their older, between 40 and 60 years old. Younger people tend to be more open-minded. What's your favorite traditional Swedish food? Meatballs! No, I don't know. Yeah, well, I like meatballs. I don't know if we have any more like traditional, like super traditional Swedish food. Knäckebra uh, and... Jävligt bra grej. Yeah, I don't know how to translate that. Knäcke bra... Bread. It's a crunchy bread. Which is... Sounds awful, but it's good. Oh, we, yeah! We also have um, sill, which is like fish, but it's inlagd. Like when you put it in... <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. I gotta, I gotta Google this. A few moments later. It's called pickled herring, and it also sounds awful, but it's really good. I hated it though when I was a kid, but now I love it. How exactly do you do the sandwich technique? I'm having a few problems with it. What do you use from start to finish? I have like a billion tutorials on this on Instagram. I can't really explain it better to you than uh, just saying like I apply color and then I build with uh, a clear gel. Then I file and shape and then I put color on top. I can't really tell you more than that because I don't know what to say. It's basically just like that. It's nothing special. It's just like if you're used to put all the color on top, just put one layer underneath and it's, that's it. It's not harder than that. So I think most of you are probably making it harder than it is because it's really not a big deal. So that's how it is. How old should I be to get gel nails or do you have to be a certain age? Yes, I think I have like a 16 year old limit. And that's because when you're younger than that, or I mean, when you're 16, 17, 18, you have a lot of hormones going on in your body. So 
that will affect the nails so it will probably not uh, last as long as it should also when you're younger than 16 I mean having gel nails or acrylics it's kind of a commitment and you need to be really careful what you do with your nails and um, just take responsibility because you can get super hurt by them and at the same time I feel like I don't want to contribute to uh, girls being forced to grow up too early please show me in video who to apply the builder gel okay how to apply the builder gel I have posted it like a billion times on my Instagram so uh, you can check out the hashtag Selena tutorial and you have I don't know even how many videos I've done like the last couple of weeks where I show you the u-shape thing where I build so uh, yeah you can find it there the basic item needed for gel nails the basic item gel huh? I mean no uh, I don't know where to begin <laughs> too much I will do a video on products you need when you're starting out doing gel nails I will get back to you on that one